All right, guys, we're gonna work on your serve today, and I'm going to do something I've done in previous videos, but this one's gonna be a little bit more, uh, a little longer, because I'm gonna put it all together for you. So the two big things of serving is all upper body. You get most of your power through the upper body, not your legs. So we're gonna focus on that. So the two things we're gonna work on will be keeping your arm loose, and your serving arm loose, and also uh, making sure that you are coming up and making contact with the ball the right way. So we're gonna start with the loose arm. So that's why I have a towel, put a knot at the end so you can feel the weight at the end. And basically, the towel acts like a racket. So I'm putting the towel with the racket here so you can kind of see it. And you can see as I bring the racket around, so I'm gonna bring it around, the towel drops. You can feel that weight drop, right? That weight dropping. And that's just like you printing your racket back and letting the racket kind of drop like this. So the idea is if I'm serving this way and I'm going to bring that uh, towel around my arm, you're going to feel that rat, that towel um, jerk down, jerk back. And that's your cue to go up at the ball. Okay? So the idea is you're trying to keep your arm loose when you're doing that because if you do it wrong and go like this and freeze, the towel will hit you in the back or swing around. And that does not allow you to have a loose arm. So the idea is you got to keep your arm very loose when you're doing this. And you can tell when I'm doing this is I'm trying to go all the way out and I'm trying to keep a 90 degree angle. So I initiate a 90 degree angle and I bring my racket back, my towel back, same thing. And once I get to that part, now I can sling the racket up in the air. So it goes here, bring it out, and then boom, up in the air like that. So I swing it out, initiate the 90, I feel that tug, and then I go out. So you gotta keep your arm loose. If you ever saw a good server, they're always going to keep this arm constant, constant movement. It's not going to stop moving. We call that a hitch when the racket stops moving here. Okay, so a good way to look at it then is to break it apart into two parts, your left arm and your right arm. So when I'm doing my left arm, my left arm's moving at a different pace than my right arm. So you can see my right, left arm is already up, my right arm is still moving, swinging back, and then I let it drop, and that's where I initiate the swing going up. We'll get to that in a minute, where I tuck under and swing through the ball. But the more important part is to let your racket um, drop and then go up immediately. So a lot of problems happen where we don't throw the ball high enough, right? Or we go at the same time and then, there, then there's time here where we don't know what to do because the arm's up, the racket's up too early and then we drop and then we wait for it and then we go up. Instead, you need to be able to be loose, 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 drop and then up very quickly. So break it up, have your racket in front. So I grab a ball and I would make sure that my racket head is back here. So all I'm gonna do is throw that ball up and feel my arm stay up. And I should be able to count to two before I really make contact with the ball. So I go one, 1,000, two, 1,000. So I swung up, I felt that drop and immediately went up at the ball. But you can see my left arm stayed up. So here, left arm stayed up, and then I go through the ball to it, right? So if you want to put it all together, the same thing. I'm going to throw the ball up, but my racket is going to keep moving, and then I go through the ball, right? So putting it together then, you have your whole toss. My left arm stays up, and then I go through the ball with a loose arm. So my arm is very, very loose, very, very loose like a whip. So I'm over here, through, and then constantly moving, and then I go up. So that's the towel to enact that whipping sensation. The next part though, will be using the towel to go on your knees to make sure you know what you're doing with the contact. Uh, a big problem with players, uh, recreational players, is that they're, they're going forward with their serve. So this is the motion they're doing instead of going up at the serve. So you can see if I put somebody on their knees and do this, a lot of players will be hitting the ground. And that indicates you're, you're going forward with your serve instead of up. The idea is you gotta go up with your serve. So you should ideally be finishing like this, where the racket head, the strings are facing down. I created a 90 degree angle with the racket and the arm, and that's where I'm gonna finish. Okay, so I'm going up to the ball when I make contact, okay? 
The only problem I see when players try to do this is they jerk to a stop. The wrist comes to a halt. Notice that I'm going as far over as I can. So I'm moving over, I'm a righty, so I'm going to my right very quickly. Your perspective, it's the same thing here. I'm going over to my right as far as I can before I come around. All right, watch any slow motion server in the pros. They're coming all the way around. They don't jerk to a stop. So you gotta make sure you're loose, otherwise you're gonna hurt your wrist. Whenever we use our wrist, we don't wanna stop very suddenly because our wrist will be taxed and it will be, you could get hurt, all right? So once you're doing these contacts, when you put it all together now, you're gonna have a loose arm and then when you come up, you're gonna finish up on the ball to create that spin. So together, and then I'm up here when I finish. And then obviously you come around. So once you get that contact and everything down, then you can do a full swing, coming over, all the way out, and then be balanced. So the idea is to be loose, but also to snap up and pronate, they call it, up. So there'll be common mistakes that happen all the time. Ball's gonna go to your left if you're a righty because you're not pronating out, right? You're probably doing this. A lot of balls go in the ground because everyone's like doing a tomahawk here because of the grip being down the middle. A lot of players will hit the ball to their left as a righty. So the problem is they're not pronating out. And that's why I like players on their knees to be able to freeze and be out like this. I can see that their palm is out here, not like this. The racket isn't down here, but it's up to the ball right there. So you can use the towel for all of this to really get your serve down. So I would recommend trying this out and then just be patient with yourself. It's a lot to do with timing once you uh, get the motion down and all that, because you got to do it all at once. All right, so good luck.